Hello guys, welcome back to Husky Squad. Today we are doing another video on Titus's ACL injury and his road to recovery without surgery. As we're uploading this video, by now Titus has made incredible progress and we've been hiking, we've been outdoors, everything is going incredibly well with Titus's recovery, but we want to upload all the videos and everything we've done throughout his healing so this can benefit you too if you're choosing to go this route. Perhaps you're also not wanting to take the route of doing the TPLO surgery which is very invasive and can have terrible consequences long term. We are not here to tell you that you shouldn't do the surgery, but we're here to tell you as dog parents that we decided after a lot of research that we're going to take the route to attempt to heal Titus naturally with the support of a holistic veterinarian and also the support of an amazing team of physical therapists. If this is the first video you're watching on this subject, we want for you to look at the entire playlist because there's a lot to cover on the subject. I'll leave the link below in this video so you can see for yourself and take steps that we've taken and perhaps even expand on that. Either way, we wish you the best if your dog is going through this. It takes patience, it takes dedication, it takes a lot of work, but for us, it's been so worth it for Titus and it can be the same for your dog. All right guys, in this video, we'll show you the day we received Titus's double braces. The reason why we got two braces for Titus is because about five years ago, Titus sustained his first ACL injury on the other leg, on the other knee. So with this injury, which was bound to happen after time, usually when people go the surgery route, the very common theme is, is that the dog gets injured on the other knee within the year. Titus actually lasted five years going the natural route on the other knee, but because he injured his second knee, what we want to do is support the previous injury so he doesn't put a ton of weight on that previous injury and possibly re-injure himself. That is why we opted to go with two brand new braces for both of his back legs, one to support the previous injury and the other one to support the healing process for his new injury. So in this video, we'll show you Titus getting this fitted for the first time now that we have it and also how he's taking the first steps. Precious cargo, baby. Yeah, it's here. Yeah. Precious cargo. It's light too. That's good. Should we show Titus? Got your braces, buddy. Oh, they look nice. Titus, we got your braces. Look at this, Titus. It's so lightweight too. Wow. They look, wow, they're lighter. They're lighter than the last ones. Yeah. Yeah, they're so much lighter. Those look amazing. Animal OrthoCare definitely changed some things since last time. This one, it looks like, it looks like Dr. Campana gave us the one without the hinges. I guess he felt that was the right thing to do after a second injury. Where are you going, Mama? Yuna, you want to smell it? Huh? What do you think, Yuna? Those look really cool. They look super lightweight. Try your new brace, buddy. What do you think? What do you think? Now we can start going hiking a little bit? I'm so happy for you, buddy. I'm so happy. You got your braces? Oh, do you know what it is, buddy, huh? Do you know, Titus? I'm gonna go get the old one, okay? All right. This brace is equal the weight to both of the new ones. This is the old this is the old one and this is the new one. 
So the new one is actually smaller, I think. A little bit smaller, but what I'm noticing the difference in the upgrades is how lean the profile is now, where it doesn't have the metal hinge. The metal hinge was doing this. It's bending and it's configured a certain way. This is five years old, still an amazing brace. But this one doesn't have the hinge and it's super lightweight and it has its very interesting flexible piece here. What an upgrade, this is so freaking cool. And it doesn't have the, the metal here. It's lean, it doesn't have the other metal here. I think that's what really removes the weight because both sides had the hinges. And now the profile is so much leaner in the front too. It doesn't have the hinges. That is really cool. Okay, this is the left brace. That's for Titus' previously injured leg with the new measurement. You ready to try it on? And this is for the current injured leg. Let's do it, Titus. Come on, buddy, lay down. Nice and relaxed. Oh, you good boy. You good boy. I'm so excited for him. I'm so happy for you, buddy. You just can't stay still today, huh? All right. So this is really cool how you put this on. This is amazing. This brace is around five, six hundred dollars each, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, around five, six hundred dollars each, which is not, it's not very expensive. It's actually a very good price for a custom brace. And it's, I mean, it's much cheaper than doing that crazy surgery, but that's not the only reason why we're doing this route, because it does end up costing a lot of money in general. The hydrotherapy that we're doing, physical therapy, cold laser, all that stuff adds a lot more money than just a brace, but this is definitely a really good option if you can't afford anything to go this route, because, you know, a dog on an injured leg is never a good thing. So what you want to do here this is what I remember from last time. You want to loosen up the part of the knee completely and you want to start tying this going upwards. So you want to start with the bottom and everything needs to be nice and snug. I mean, you don't want to be pulling it too hard, but it needs to be nice and snug enough. So it has this great, it has this great padding here to support it. So everything is padded and cushiony. So it's really comfy, but you still want to make it nice and tight so it's snug. So the next one I'm grabbing is the second one up, leaving this one alone, this one is for last. Next one up, tighten it back nicely. The Velcro straps hold it all together. Stick your finger in the check, how it's looking, how it's feeling, make sure the strap in the back is nice and centered. What do you think, buddy? He's got a big old smile on his face. All right, so we got the padding. Stretch out the leg, stretch out the leg. Good boy, buddy. Okay. All that floof just makes you have a bigger brace, huh? Nice. This looks very supportive. Let me stick out the husky floof for decoration. There you go, Titus. And then the last thing, just give it a nice little flex. And the last thing is tightening that one in the front. So, everything is looking good. Titus, you happy? Titus. You want to try the other leg? Yeah? Should we try putting on the other leg? Extra support? Okay, again, the clip on the outside. And this is the injured leg, so I'm gonna be very careful. Putting all the straps behind there. All right. Very nice big straps on this brace in the back. Super comfortable and soft. So you gotta twist those straps forward so they're in the right place for the leg to support the back of it, but they have to be centered. All right, last one. This supports everything in place from the top. Custom made to Titus's leg. So this old brace healed Titus before this old one and now we're very confident that this is going to help Titus no matter what. This is good for natural healing and also post-surgery healing. 
no matter the route that you take, having that brace helps speed up the healing process. Right, Titus? You look so fancy, huh? You look nice, buddy. You look good. And you guys have been good staying there. Good girls. Good job. Good job. Okay. Titus hates the wooden floors right now because it's slippery. He likes the carpet and concrete and anything that's not slippery. Titus, come here. Eunice day. Mari stay. Come here, Titus. Mari stay. Eunice stay. Oh. You put the, you put it down. What, what do you think, buddy? Oh yes. What do you think, buddy? Yeah, he's putting it down. He's putting it down. I just come. Girl, stay. <laughs> He's so funny. Good boy, Titus. Good boy, buddy, come. Good boy. Good boy, Titus. I think he looks so cute on him. Doesn't he look so cute? Good boy, buddy. What do you think? Let me check how it's on you. Snug, nice and snug. This could actually be a little bit more snug. Stay tight, is? He's definitely not used to it yet, huh? No, he's not used to it yet. But, uh, not like... no, I'm sure he's going to adjust really fast. So that's day one. First day with Titus and his brace. This is not a treat, buddy. So, yeah, see, he's actually alternating his legs when he's walking, huh? And the other one. Just because it doesn't have that natural, just like, flex out, I think that's why it helps him more. <laughs> you guys not happy about this idea. <laughs> Yeah, he's starting to use it. Yeah? That's what it is, he has to get used to it. Come on, buddy. He's walking more normal than before. Right? That's really good for day one, buddy. It's so good for day one. Mm. I'm so happy he has these braces. So happy. Come on, you could do it. Lay down. You're gonna have to learn how to lay down with both. Come on, lay down, lay down. Oh, good boy, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> that was so much work, huh? That was so much work. Good job. Need another one eye contact. Good boy, Titus. All right, guys, this is day one for Titus wearing two braces. He is definitely not used to it, but just like everything else, he will get used to it. And we'll do an update video next time we actually go for a hike. We're gonna try to go to somewhere sandy. There's no snow anymore, it's just a couple of melting patches. But we'll try to go somewhere soft, sand or snow. And we are leaving from here don't think about it but we're leaving from here in two days so we have a ton of stuff to do we have stuff everywhere but we are going north so we can speed up Titus's recovery that's the goal that's why we're leaving and we'll have all the therapies and everything that we need super close by our amazing holistic vet also by our side Dr. Keith Weingart so that's what we're looking forward to right all right guys we'll see you next time on titus's road to recovery 
here on our channel. Subscribe if you've not done so already. And we'll see you next time. Bye.